Five months ago, a devastating crash involving a horse trailer killed three racehorses and injured four others. Now, after months of recovery, a horse named Just a Freak has defied the odds and returned to racing. Video journalist Scott Eckhart shares this special comeback story. How about Just a Freak? Just a Freak? Talking about Just a Freak. I like it. Plus, we are following late breaking news. Uh, just a Freak was in, a, uh, in an accident. It was just uh, a tough day. A lot of times, things happen that, uh, that you, you know, that were unexpected. And... It's been very special, it really is kind of a magical farm. First and foremost, it's a, it's a horse nursery. We breed and raise foals. We also break horses here. a chance and bred this mare to justify. From the very beginning, he was kind of special, so we, we had good feelings about, about doing that. You know, I was looking for that foal, and it was kind of jet black, and uh, just a special foal. You know, we were excited. You know, uh, horses, just like people, you know, just, you know, some are bad, some are good, some are ordinary, some are special. Very few are special. And we just felt like, you know, hey, this is one that we have our eye on, hoping that this would be the, you know, it, this would be a really good horse. And, uh, and he's uh, just a really neat horse to be around. After a couple of months, we put him under tack, did everything the right way, and we finally sent him on uh, as a two-year-old to Eddie Keneally. And, and uh, trained really, really good. You know, like he was going to be a really nice horse. And WLKY News begins with breaking news. We are following late breaking news right now in Nelson County where a trailer hauling horses has crashed. I got a call around 5, 6 o'clock perhaps that morning. The van had wrecked. We are taking a live look from WLKY News Chopper. All we knew is that the truck went off the road and that it didn't look good. It wasn't good and some of the horses were in bad shape. That was the exact line that I got from Eddie. It didn't, it doesn't look good. The trailer crossed into the westbound lanes and hit an embankment. I even get goosebumps talking about it. It's, it's horrible. You're in a bit of a state of shock, really. It is unclear how many horses were on that trailer or the condition of the animals. It's devastating. You can't help them. We didn't know which ones were alive. We didn't know, we didn't know what happened. I called Eddie to see how the horse had come in and everything. And, uh, and Eddie uh, said, hey, you know, uh, Justin Freak was in a uh, in an accident in a van, and I can't really talk to you. I don't really know a lot right now. See the pictures of the wreck, and I'm sure the footage that you all had from the helicopter. It was it was it was very um, dynamic. There was a total of seven horses on that truck. Three of them didn't make it. To lose them suddenly and tragically, it's it's hard. You put them on those vans, and you just kind of step away. I mean, your part your job is done, and you have to. I mean, accidents happen, but. It's just not something you ever think would happen. We found out that three of the four horses that did survive are standing on their own. During the, later in the morning, they managed to get the horses off the, off the truck, and uh, four of them made it to the clinic. You know, they didn't know the extent of the damage. The horse was skinned up pretty badly. And... It was sad even in uh, the first time I visited them at the clinic. It was it's hard to see them like that. It, it, you know, it just, like so many things in our business, you just kind of, okay, uh, you just take one step uh, with the idea that, uh, okay, well, we'll just see what we can do, and, and uh, it do, if it doesn't work out, it just doesn't work out. So. Here's Just a Freak going home after a traumatic week. If it was me, I'm not getting back on that van after I 
after I had that problem. I, I, I think that that's the thing that sometimes intrigues us and, and really keeps, keeps our brains in the game is, is that when you see special things happen. It can overcome a lot. It's amazing that, uh, that he could walk onto a trailer when he left the clinic uh, about 10 days after the accident. You know, he really, really never showed that, that this bothered him, you know, in his mind at all. And uh, that could very easily have happened where he didn't want to run anymore. He didn't want to do whatever. He didn't want to get on the trailer. And, and he's, he's never, ever balked at anything we've done. several days, uh, we sent him back to Eddie and you know, put him in training, did everything the right way. We decided to uh, run him short instead of running long. There, near the gate. Against a really good field. In the rough. So we were thinking, yeah, he's going to run well. A good start for just a freak, racing right for the front. I wasn't really expecting anything for him. Round the far turn, just a freak and Uncle William go head to head for the lead. These two locked in battle, heading to the top of the stretch. And um, then when he's turning for home, I'm like, are you serious? They roll off the turn, just a freak short lead. I think I rode him hard, home harder than the shot did. I was standing in the tunnel over there riding him. <laughs> just a freak and Uncle William in a pitch battle with a 16th to go. Just a freak determined on the rail. Sure enough, he came out and uh, ran a huge race. Just a freak's going to do it. Just a freak, a hard-fought winner. I'm not like a super emotional person, but it's it was pretty emotional. I mean, I had tears in my eyes. How could you not? And his owner was there. And, I mean, it was exciting. It was really exciting. His lifetime best performance. So that's uh, that's uh, a, a great achievement uh, for a horse that's been true what he has. It, you always hear that the good horses always get hurt. The bad ones don't get hurt at all. You know. So I was thinking to myself, well. You know, he's he's confirmed that that theory. That horse has every reason to quit on humans and to dig in like that and fight like that to win that race. Like he loves what he does and it's special. It just kind of, it, it brings everything together and it just kind of justifies everything that we do. what some horses can overcome, and I think he's a testament to that. You know, these good horses defy what you think will happen. You know, they, they find a way to do things a different way. this point, I mean, he owes us nothing. There is a light at the end of the tunnel anyway, at least uh, with just a freak. Great ending to a great story. As Just a Freak continues his racing, look for him to make his next start during the Churchill Downs fall meet.